Here is, in case you were drinking, our top 25 wrap-up of everything that happened in college football on Saturday. Clemson beats an easy opponent, which is pretty much every week in the ACC. Next week, they'll face the Miami Hurricanes, a team that isn't actually good, but we have to talk ourselves into that way it feels like Clemson is facing real competition. Alabama is 9-1 against Texas A&M in games where Johnny Manziel doesn't play. Well, Manziel wasn't ripping monster lines, I mean runs in this one. Bama wins big, and right now looks like the best team in the country. Florida beats a South Carolina team who is destined to play scrappy but lose every meaningful game this season. Bo Nix, awesome name, shitty football player. Georgia picks up a win after an extremely impressive first half. Their fan base also took a few shots at Justin Fields on game day. Hey, if my team's coaching staff chose Jake Fromm, I may irrationally lash out as well. Good luck beating Bama with Stetson Bennett as your quarterback. Texas is back, folks. Or wait, maybe not. The Horn Frogs beat the Longhorns as Tom Herman blows this one like he's with Zach Smith at a strip club. Defending self-proclaimed national champion Central Florida loses to Tulsa. Maybe they aren't quite as good as Alabama or Clemson just yet. At least we won't have to hear about made-up national titles this season. Is Cincinnati the new Central Florida? The Bearcats have looked dominant early this Saturday. They picked off South Florida five times on their way to victory. Remember when everyone said you couldn't blame LSU because Mississippi State was good? Well, I got some tough news for you guys. Mike Leach and the Bulldogs lose to Arkansas, who have Felipe Frank starting for them. That's right, the 14-year QB out of Florida is somehow still playing in college. Rock Chalk can't stop Chuba Hubbard from running all over them like they were all wearing OAN t-shirts as Oklahoma State beats the shit out of Kansas. The good news, Oklahoma won't lose in the first round of the playoffs like they do every season. The bad news, it's because they lost to Iowa State last week. The Sooners lose back-to-back -back games for the first time in 22 years as the Big 12 looks like a complete shit show at the moment. Vanderbilt isn't going to win a game this season. LSU stomps them 41-7. Tennessee beats the shit out of Missouri because they need to build up their fans' expectations before disappointing them later on this season. SMU beats Memphis in the Our Uniforms Are Better Than Our Team Bowl. And that is everything in our Top 25 Wrap-Up, in case you were drinking.